people, let's study this chapter 6, which is essentially uh, multiple phase mass, di uh, mass balances. We're going to see this problem, which is a wet letter containing this percent of water enters to a continuous. Let me draw it. Let's say this is a dryer. And it goes out. And there's a 61% of water, and the balance should be leather. Okay, it enters, let me tell this is initial mass, and leaves at the rate of 485 pounds per hour, containing only 6 of water, and the balance should be leather. Dry air enters the dryer, that makes sense. How can you dry it? You need air. The dry air, let's say it's at 140 Fahrenheit and one atmosphere. And this is, let me say, N0 in moles. And the outlet is at a little bit lower, 10 degrees lower, and one atmosphere. So let's say this is N1. We're going to differentiate the leather because it's in mass and the air in moles. Calculate the rate at which we wet leather enters the dryer, so this is M0, and the volumetric flow rate of the inlet air, which is volumetric flow of inlet air here. So essentially calculate N0 and turn it to volumetric flow. Good. Let's start with a mass balance of leather. Uh, inlet equals outlet, leather is not reacting, so M0 times fraction of leather equals M1 times the fraction of leather here. So I use this as a basis, so let me find M0, it will be 485 pound mole per hour times the mole fraction of letter here, divided by the mole fraction at the beginning. So this should give you something around 1.68 pound mole, no, pounds per hour. So we got our inlet, this is letter A. Good, though that was an easy one. Now let's continue with B. We need to do a mass balance in water to get the mole fraction, so how much water is going there. We have this 50% of humidity at the outlet air. So this is going to help us to see how much water is there. So let's do the mass balance. Um, Y1 PT equals relative humidity. This is the definition. If you don't know where I get it, this is essentially this because you know that this here is this is the definition definition of humidity or relative humidity you know also that this value is y of i times p of t and yeah I just uh, solve for y which will be this times p saturated and total pressure and how much is this? well relative humidity I know is half or 0.5 P, W, I need to look for it in the book. I have it here on my hand. This one is book data or database, whatever. And the total pressure, I think, is one atmosphere. So let's use that. With this, we calculate this value here, which is the amount of Y1. This, the amount of water here. So, what's left to do, we can calculate the, the molar flow, let's continue with the ma ma mass balance of water, inlet equals outlet, there are no reactions, so the inlet is essentially the mass of water times the x of water <coughs> equals the mass of water going out times the xw water plus the mole flow, what we know we need to change that mole flow, how do we do it? We multiply by molecular weight times this mole fraction. 
So let me substitute everything. M0 is uh, 1168. This small fraction is 61. This M1 is 485. I just calculated. This is a given value. N1, I don't know how much what is molecular weight of water. I know it's 18. And the molecular molar flow is 0 0.076. So just look for N1, should give you around 399 something. I'm going to use 500 moles of water. No, of total flow. Total flow, which includes water and dry air. So what else do we need to do? Let's do a mass balance on dry air, mass balance dry air, which will be around this number. We just need to take out the water that we took and we are going to find the dry air, which is what they are asking for in volume. So, sorry about that. The amount of moles going in, which is pure, equals N1 minus this. This is the mole fraction of air and this is the amount of air with mixture. So, N0 equals 500, 1 minus 0. Point 76 you should get here how much 461 pounds of a pound mole of dry air per hour so this is n0 what's next uh, well the volume in the inlet you know it's easy when you have the moles so I got temperature, I got pressure, I need just to substitute all the data. And you will find it. So the amount of moles is 461 pound mole dry air per hour. The volume here will be 359 cubic feet per pound mole. Temperature is going to be three where is it? 140. I think, so. yeah, what 140 is the inlet. Very, please don't mix up, guys. It's the inlet, so 140 plus the ranking conversion divided by the standard of ranking. And pressures are constant, so I take it away. Calculating this, you should get something around 2002, no, 202,082 cubic feet per hour. That's our volumetric flow in the inlet. So I think that's everything, guys. Let me just give you an overview. Very interesting. Is the I think it's one of the first times I use a mass balance with moles and a mass balance with mass. So it's very interesting how we could actually either you change everything to moles or you change everything to mass. But eventually, the mass balances are going to be done in one. So this mass balance was done with mass. See here this is a mass fraction times mass will give me mass. Mass times mass fraction give me mass and moles times uh, molecular weight give me mass but since I'm using this so this, this give me mole but mole times molecular weight will give me mass. So all this is mass. Uh, be sure always guys to if we wouldn't add this 18, we will have a terrible mistake, actually a mistake of maybe 18 times that. Uh, what else is done here? Well, this balance is so easy, inlet equals outlet. This is pure dryer. The dryer is essentially the mole fraction when you take it out the water. So if you have 0 0.076 as water, which is 70. 7.6% in water. The other should be uh, drier. So this is drier. And we use ideal gas law and you get your volumetric flow at the inlet. So was an easy one. See you in the other video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? 
it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.